Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use VLOOKUP on two different workbooks. Now, this is the first workbook here. We choose, we choose the CGPA for students. So this is their matric number and this is their CGPA. This is the first workbook. So this is the second workbook here for matric number. But all we want to do now is to return the particular CGPA for the matric number. Can you see that? So the CGPA is in this first workbook, which is what? Book one. While on this book two, we want to return the respective CGPA. So we should know that they are in different workbook. So all we have to do is to what? Use the VLOOKUP function. So the first thing to do is to what? Type your equal sign, VLOOKUP. Then the lookup value is this one here. Put the comma sign. The table array, you have to go to book one. Then you, ref you reference your data here. Let me do that again. So the VLOOKUP sign, let me, let me do it again. Tap your equal sign, the VLOOKUP. Your lookup value is this one here, the one beside it. You put your comma sign, your table array, you go to what? Book one. Then reference your data here. Put your comma sign, your column index. This is column one, this is column two. So we are returning the what? The CGPA column, so which is which is on the second column, put two. Then put your comma sign, is it approximate match or exact match? It is what, exact match. Then close your bracket. Can you see? Then, can you see that? So let's confirm this. So someone with matric number 16011048 is 2.34 CGPA in this sheet. So let's, take, let's check on the main data here. So 48, can you see that? 2.34, can you see that? Now, let us add another matric number. Let's say 16011056. So if you drag it down, There's a mistake. Okay. If you drag it down now, can you see? 3.45. Thank you very much for watching this video.